Ricky. It's Pond live on KEXP. That was fantastic. You got another one? We do. I, I totally rich? balls that up, I just want to say. I <laughs> balls up that start <laughs> It's really all bad. right, Joey. You're fine. You're we grand, love you mate. Anyway. This is the definitive version. I that was the KEXP <laughs> version, and we loved it. I thought you were going to yeah, sing in the it. first thing, and you didn't, so mate, I had to sing. It's it's still, still I got wigged out by all these cameras, and I just, <laughs> like, yeah, oh, messed up. Oh, let's do another song. Oh, yeah. All right. People are all over my head, bro. Alrighty. Uh, wait, <laughs> the, <laughs> the pond's, the oh, pond's yeah, yeah. not used to being in the spotlight, man. We're like possums. Mm -hmm. We're like marsupials. Mm -hmm.
It's Pond live on KEXP. That sounds fantastic. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. Everybody's Thanks. sweating. <laughs> You're working hard there. Yeah. It's great to have you here. And uh, you've got new music on the way. You started us off with a new song, not maybe so new to the band. Can you tell me about the new record? Oh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's new. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's called Man It Feels Like Space Again. And... Uh, it's coming out uh, early January or maybe late January. It's the 27th of January here, or 26th. <laughs> oh, yeah, in the US. And late, baby. Is it true what I read that you actually recorded it right after recording Hobo Rocket? Uh, yeah. It wasn't long after. We had all the songs, a lot of the songs before Hobo Rocket. But, uh, How did you determine if you had the songs all together at the same time, what would go on one album or another, or that you wouldn't do a double album? Um... Well, the ones on the new album aren't particularly heavy, like it's no distorted, like that song we just played, it's not on the new album, that's off the very first album, like back in, you know, 1986 or whatever, but uh, yeah, yeah. That, that was way back when we were a glimmer in our you grandfather's do, eye. You do have a very distinctive Pond sound, but since you mentioned it, your albums are different from one another. Do, do you have a grand plan? You, you seem to make them so easily. <laughs> There's like one a year coming out. Um, we really just want to have like the B-sides and rarities and abs <laughs> absolute number one hit like compilation. <laughs> you know, that's the, what we're aiming for. The, the gold star collection. So we get one more album and then we'll start getting the greatest hits together. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, Hobo Rocket was really heavy, which was the point. But then we kind of got sick of being like, you know, man rock so the new ones there's no kind of man rock on it it's a bit more like man we're so far from man rock. <laughs> we're the most anyway it's a bit more like uh ass. it's sli <laughs> it's slightly not very much but slightly more sophisticated probably <laughs> than the last one but only you know a tiny bit it's don't, nowhere near actual sophistication man, don't, yeah don't build it up for the people that we think and we're gonna be fucking I'm excited <laughs> yeah. to hear it you um you said in, you've said in interviews that you did the album last two albums pretty quickly as opposed to Beard Wives Denim, which I feel like a week, which you did that in, is pretty quick. But did you um, do these in even less time than that? No, this album, I thought, the, uh, we, th we thought the songs needed a bit more. They were good enough to warrant, you know, spending a bit of time recording them right and getting the right parts and whatnot. So this yeah. one we did in, in two weeks, you know. <laughs> we so, mixed it for ages, though. Yeah. Oh, that was a... That was pretty Long and arduous yeah. process. Yeah, we we uh, we were e we we're ever more concerned and noticing that people are actually listening to these records. So <laughs> instead of just kind of doing them and not caring, I mean we always care, but you know not schmigging it up properly. This time we tried to schmig it up a bit more properly. Is that a technical term? Yeah, schmig, sproink, <laughs> sprog. We it sprogged it up a bit. <laughs> it is very. Don't true. say that in Australia. People are definitely listening to these albums. And uh, when you were doing your sound check, Matt, our board op, came in and said, man, this band is tight. And it's so true. Really? You've done, you pl you do a lot of touring, a lot of live playing. Not with this band. Well, Pond, we don't get to. It's a testament to uh, Julian and Jamie that, uh, you know, getting it together with us, helping us out. I mean, Jamie's been playing for a while, but this is Julian's first ever tour on with Pond. 
and his only tour. And it's his first ever shows ever on the bass guitar. That's how much of a gun he is. Well, welcome. Your yeah. master musicians is what you are. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Ponder playing tonight at the Tractor here in Seattle. Tomorrow you can catch them at the Doug Fur in Portland, Oregon. And you got more music? We do. We have one more, but it's it's quite a long, so we're just going to do one more. Long and arduous. Long okay. and arduous. The Thank you so better. much for having us, though, KXP. Yeah. Thanks. yeah. Thank you. You guys seem to like playing our songs on the radio more than probably other radio stations, so thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks, Shaz. <laughs> Shaz, ah! Shall we? Alright. Oh, la, la, la. A girl was kneeling by a phone this morning, mumbling out some kind of a prayer. It seemed a better way to break away the day than getting drunk again in Peter Pitty's favorite chair.
Nicely done. It's Pond live here in the KEXP studios tonight, playing at the Tractor here in Seattle. And the most recent album, Hobo Rocket, a must-have for your musical library, and a new album (laughs) coming out in January. Man, it feels like space again. Thank you again so much. It's always great to have you here. Thanks for having us. us. Did you did you enjoy Pac Man in space over there, man? Absolutely. (laughs) (laughs) We did. Expect more of those Pac Man esque traits at a. Where is it? The Tractor. tractor. You're gonna love it. Sweet. I love playing in Seattle. People always get rowdy. Excellent. Well, lots of folks I hope will be out there tonight at the Tractor and tomorrow with the Doug Fur, another wonderful venue down in Portland. Uh, Iconic. You've got to tune to KEXP Seattle. Uh, Go out and get some air. (laughs) Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.